Hey everybody, Brother Brown again, and just uh, want to say it's good seeing you all again today. I know it's a little bit different than how we want to do it, but uh, just sure miss seeing you all. Uh, miss walking through the front doors of Aberdeen Baptist Church and uh, seeing your smiling faces. Uh, I miss uh, those handshakes. I miss those hugs. I miss just uh, standing there and talking with you. But listen, we'll get back there soon. And, uh, you know, I look forward to that. Uh, uh, Miss Sue yesterday, she told me, she said, Boy, I can't wait to to church. See everybody. And I feel the same way. To get back there with our church family once again and, and friends, it's going to happen. It's going to ha happen real soon. But I want to read to you today. And I hope that these have been helping you all so far, these day devotionals, just uh, a verse or two that I want to read to you every day. And I actually... I received this verse from Miss Nancy Carterwell the other day, and she sent me a verse, and uh, I want to use this verse today as well. You find this verse in Romans 8, and it's verse 28, and it is a amazing verse. If you, uh, if you highlight your Bible in any way, I would highlight this verse right here. Well, this verse here says this, and we know not that we guess, not that we think, or it may be possible, Paul says here, and we know that all things, not a few, not every once in a while, but all things. And we know that all things, what do they do? They work together for good to them that love God. Now listen, <clears throat> I know it's hard to understand a verse like that a lot of times. You know, a lot of times we, we see things as they happen right now. And we can't see the broad picture of it or the, the wide view. We can't see the future. But dear friends, you and I know this, that we all know that all things work together for good to them that love God. You know why? Because he first, uh, us the Bible says, his love for us first has gave us that type of love in our hearts and our lives, knowing that dear friends, we know it. I don't guess. Uh, and here we are in our country, here we are amidst this coronavirus, and I know, I know, I don't guess, I know that God is in control. I know all things work together for good. And listen, it's hard for us to see it right now uh, amongst all this virus, uh, the fear, the turmoil uh, in our world. I know uh, folks have lost their lives. I know that. But I know that Almighty God has a master plan here. That somehow, some way, in this situation, that we'll see it one day. That you know what? God makes all things work out for our good. The good of who? For those who love Him. Dear friends, all those things have worked together for me and you in the right way. You know, I uh, think about a lot of you all every day and, and, and praying for you. I've, uh, I've reached out to most of you in some way, either by a phone call or by a text, just to check on all of you. And remember, if you, if you need me or Samantha for anything, you, you be sure to let us know in this, because we're not getting out much right now. I know it's, uh, it's hurt my visiting, like I want to do, to come by and see you all. But listen, we will get back there, and I'll be able to come see you real soon. Um, I'll tell you what I want to do. Why don't we have a word of prayer? Uh, close this time. I know it's a, a, a rainy day out there, but dear friends, uh, the God still in control. Uh, our, the sun still lives. The sun still rises, doesn't he? And to know that in my heart and my life, dear friends, makes life possible. Let's pray. Lord, we do want to come to you, Lord, right now and just say thank you, Lord, again for what you've done for us. Lord, you have been so good to us so many ways, so many times, Lord, and God, even today, we give you all the honor, glory, and praise for who you are and what you are, God, what you can do for us, God. And Lord, even today, I ask, Lord, for those who uh, had the virus, we pray, God, you will help them, Lord, to, uh, to get well, get through this. Lord, those whose uh, families have saw loss of life, God, pray for your comfort, Lord, for your strength in those times of need. We pray, God, for... for for safety. Uh, we pray, God, for your healing power. And God, today, I pray that you will stop this virus, Lord. 
that you'll stop it, Lord, you have the power to do that, that you'll stop this virus, God, before it goes any further. Lord, today, you remember those we've asked prayer for in our church, Lord, uh, on our prayer list, God, you know all these names that they burdened me must than I do. God, you will bless each and every one, whatever their need may be, God, you know these things, God, better than us. God, once again, I pray that you'll bless our country, our nation, those who lead our country, at the right says, God, as well, I always look to you for guidance, Lord. But God, also, those who are out there today who are working, who are among this virus, God, every day, God, you take care and protect them also. God, once again, you bless Aberdeen Baptist Church, Lord, all the ones who belong to it, the, the lost as well, God, that you will lead them, Lord, through a saving knowledge of you, Lord, through our doors, God, through our post, our live stream, something, Lord. We know, God, that your word will not return void. God, please keep on working like you have. And God, once again, we do praise you. We do love you. And God, I thank you today most of all for Christ who went to the cross and gave his life for our sins. That's my prayer, prayer. And amen.